What is going on, Internet? Eric Van Holtz back again with another amazing Beard Brand Alliance live stream. Hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. Got a doozy for you. We're talking about everyday carry. I've got a number of pieces that I want to get started with. I don't think I got an hour's worth of talking, so I hope you guys put some stuff in the comments and uh, I can answer those after I kind of go through the run through. Again, hope you guys are having a great Monday. Excited for today, excited to share with you guys some things that are going on, some new products from Beard Brand, and uh, yeah, and all the jazz. But I want to get into the topic of the subject matter first so that the people who are not watching this live can watch this section and then carry on with their day if they want, or uh, maybe come back. So first things first, let's talk about everyday carry. Um, we've got a kit going on now. You can see uh, the scrolling marquee down below, grab the utility bundle. So what the utility bundle is, is of course our utility bar, which you can use for so many different things like shaving, washing your hair, washing your beard, washing your body, shaving, uh, face wash, hand wash, whatever, travel bar. It's an amazing utility bar. Utility balm. Uh, look, I got the black sales one. Woo! The utility balm can be used uh, pretty much anywhere as, anywhere you want to get. Nice in condition. Face, beard, hair, elbows, tattoos. But what we're doing is uh, we partnered up with... This company, TPT Slide, is the name of the product. The company is uh, Big Idea Design or Big Eye Design, depending on uh, where you see them. And uh, here's a little device. So you look at this and you're like, ah, oh, man, it's just, it's just like a little uh, box cutter, right? But in this little device, you have so much more. And I kind of want to point out, uh, a few of the things that we have here. So first things first, uh, just like a typical little screwdriver, flathead screwdriver you can have, but also we got a hex thing. So if you have any kind of hexes, you just go grab your hex, slide it in there, and then you'll use your finger to kind of hold it down when you're screwing. And then you've got, you know, whatever screwdriver or Allen wrench you need. So that's cool. The other thing that's cool are the details. So you'll notice these little screw points right here, right here. That is exactly one inch across. So you can use this anytime you need a measure. And then on the other side, this one and that one will be two inches across. So you got two inches there one inch here, quick little measuring tool. How, how many other features in here? Um, this one, I don't think I'm ever gonna use, but it's in here in case you ever go like camping. Uh, they suggest that you can use this as uh, a fork. So if uh, you're ever out uh, on the open and you need like a little fork, you forgot it, you got a fork in here. The, um, let's see, let's see, and here, these actually can be used to wrench things down. So go in here and then uh, you guys know how to work a wrench. You go in there and do a wrench. The other thing that you can do with this, and I encourage you guys, you grab your beer. I got uh, some Japanese flavor. And let's see if I can do this. This is always live, so you always make it look harder than it is, but that was pretty easy. So you got a bottle opener. So the core functionalities, I think like the, the things that you need in everyday life, this thing is got it for you. You can even, if you need to, uh, pop, pop this out, flip it around, also use it as a, a box opener. It doesn't have a blade on it. So uh, while you can probably get injured on it, uh, it's not sharp. So it's more for uh, opening up packages and stuff like that. So the utility bundle, when you think about how you could buy the bar, the balm, and this beautiful little everyday carry device, you get a pretty good bang for the buck. 
what is it like 50 bucks off or something like that i don't have the numbers in front of me it's probably like 30 to 50 bucks off so you got quite a bit of savings grab your beer drink to that okay what do we got what do we got man if you've seen any of my everyday carry uh, videos in the past you know i don't change things up a lot so a lot of things are still the same i'm still rocking the what is this uh, iphone se it is the white one and then what i do have is uh this case uh which i like the thing i like about this case is this little thing it's really streamlined it works like a, a pop-up socket and uh what you can do is you can also rest it on the table so you can prop up your camera so this little uh, um this little case is good this little case is good um slick smartish smartish okay so this is the same as it always is. Uh, you guys have seen it on my last episode. These glasses, especially with my new haircut that some of you guys love, some of you guys hate, these sunglasses uh, have been like my go-to. Now I got them for uh, rowing. So they're like athletic ones. They're from a company called Roka, which reminds me, uh, none of these products, unless we're selling them on Beard Brand, uh, I'm getting paid uh, to talk about these products. So they're just things that I use or buy. I'm a terrible business person when it comes to lining up affiliate links. I don't even have affiliate links for these. So uh, these are just things that I like authentically, like I buy, I spent my own money on. And if I didn't spend my money on it, I'll let you know. So anyways, these glasses are super dope. You go to Roka, R-O-K-A, and uh, you can custom build. So I picked out the neon yellow here. I picked out the pink and then the blue, and uh, these also, you can pick the color here. So I kept it pink on pink. And like, I'll wear these, and then I'll hear like, I'll, I'll get like more compliments on these glasses than anything I've ever gotten. And in addition to that, um, I'll hear people like, they'll walk by me and they're like, I gotta get a pair of those glasses. Everyone thinks they're Oakleys. Everyone thinks they're Pit Vipers. They're not, they're Rokas. And you know what's cool about them, which I don't think other companies do, and what I did is I grabbed, uh, an extra lens. So these are the purple ones. And it, I'll, if I want to be honest, it's a bit of a, a pain in the ass. But what you can do is you can swap out all these components and put it on here and have like a, a completely different looking pair of glasses. So uh, Roka, I think Roka, what they're doing is super cool. So uh, Props to you guys. Where did, where did my things go? So those glasses have been my daily stay. Uh, of course, you guys know I like glasses. I wear glasses all the time. Uh, but these are something a little bit different. Um, all right. What else? What else? What else? Keychain. This is one of the things that has been a, a staple for me. Still rocking the Bellroy um, key cleaner upper. This little thing because apparently you guys can copy my key, so I'll have to hold it. But uh, I just got my house key, my business key, and uh, it's good, it's good. Whew. Let's keep this gravy train going. I've got so many everyday carry things for you guys. Um, so I had been rocking a Ridge wallet. Come on, zoom in. So. Uh, this is the gold one. So a little disclosure, my buddy Sean uh, works at Ridge. He came on my podcast, E-Commerce Conversations. He gifted me this. So I was rocking this for a while. Um, before I was rocking the Ridge, I was rocking Bellroy. Uh, as you guys can tell, I kind of like Bellroy. I like their premium stuff. Uh, this nice little um, wallet is nice and slim. But you know what I did recently? I went back to my old beard brand, OG dad's billfold. So the reason is because in February, um, in February, we will be celebrating our 10th year of business. And uh, I've, we've got some treats coming out for you in uh, our 10 years. So we're working on some 
some things that we no longer sell that we used to sell, hint, hint. And uh, you'll kind of be seeing, seeing a little bit of that. Speaking of things that we sell that we no longer sell, let's talk about the book of reminders. Uh, hopefully you guys know about the book of reminders. I keep this on me all the time. This is our second iteration of it. These are uh, the nine different reminders that I tell myself that uh, help me as I face adversity throughout the day. And uh, I think we're pretty much almost sold out of these. I think by August, we are going to switch out or will be sold out. Uh, and uh, when I say sold out, the, the freebies that are included orders, we are going to be switching to the Keep On Growing books, which is simply uh, like a blank blank notebook for you to be able to take your notes on. Just remind you to keep on growing, to be awesome. So if you want to grab the book of reminders for uh, for it to be included in your order, and now's a good time to place an order uh, because those will be included. You will still be able to purchase the book of reminders uh, come uh, August, but um, it won't be included free. So uh, heads up on that. Freebies, freebies, freebies. Ooh, what else we got? So we've got a sneak peek for August. We're doing a gift with purchase for any order over 65 bucks. We've made some beard brand tweezers, baby. Gold and silver, a little bit of black on there. Uh, so these will be included in any orders or you can purchase them for 10 bucks. They, uh, they're nice tweezers, been using them for a while. So uh, nice and big, nice and big. Those big old hairs growing out of your ears. I was working on some ear hairs. I got some more everyday carry I want to talk about. Um, the basics, I already, I don't know if I showed these, but uh, my kind of go to headphones lately have been the wireless Beats uh, in white. In hindsight, I kind of wish I didn't get white. I don't really like white. I uh, should have gotten black or maybe red or something or whatever color. What can you do? What can you do? Um, now, the big change that I've had is, uh, you guys know I, I love my Garmin watch. I've been wearing the heck out of this Garmin watch for a while. Uh, what I did do is upgrade the band to this nylon band. I feel like it, it has that nice blend between being able to wear it as I row, the performance, um, but you'll notice I'm not actually wearing it. And that's been a big thing for me lately is I have switched uh, my watch. So, um, man, I'm not a watch guy, but all my friends are watch guys. And I wanted to see what the, the hubbub is. Uh, so I ended up getting this. This is the watch I've been wearing. It's a Rowing Blazers and Seiko collaboration. It was a limited edition, 500 units. I, uh, I snagged this. They sold out in a day. I'm pretty stoked to get it. Um, the thing I, I kind of, is the thing I like most about it is the thing you don't really see. And uh, come on, get on there. Can you all see that? There's like a little skeleton in there sitting down. Uh, that's one of like Rowing Blazers kind of trademark designs. Um, I think it's really cool. So this is a diver's watch. Cool little look. And uh, if I like this, then maybe I'll start buying some more automatic watches, getting into the watch space. Uh, I don't know, but if I don't like it, uh, I didn't spend thousands of dollars on a Rolex or Omega or, or whatever those watch guys uh, tend to be buying. Um, cool. So. Let's talk about my everyday carry bag because I've had the same bag for two or three years. And I was just, I was getting kind of like tired of the bag, like the bag had served its time. So we're now moving on to a new bag design. And uh, let's see here. It's another Bellroy. You can tell I like Bellroy's. And uh, I'll show you here. So I like it. This is a nylon finish. It's got two pockets on the outside for easy access. A little clip here, a little carabiner to hide 
hang some keys or something. It's got a leather bottom. So this is uh, from their premium line. So it's just a little bit nicer. And then it's got like a leather top as well. Cool thing on the back. So these clips come undone. Come on now. All the, uh, there they, Billy Mays would be sad now with just my product display. So what you can do is tuck in these pockets, button it up. So you have like a, a cool little um, tote style bag without the back straps hanging on. But I kind of like the back. I like the backpack style. So I usually leave it hooked up as a backpack. And then on the inside, it's got <laughs> on the inside, here's a, here's your spot for computer. Here's a little spot for like an iPad or tablet. Uh, down here, you can see kind of some things that keep the old version of the book reminders, moleskin for taking more notes. And then it has uh, these longer pockets, which are great for water bottles or shoes or flip-flops. It has two of them. So one down at the bottom as well. And then it has um, a pocket right here. So I put a lot of my pens and pens and things like that in this pocket. And business card holder. So, uh, and then uh, my classic buttons. These are my favorites. Uh, internet famous, even though I'm not really internet famous. And then uh, Beard Brand logo. Um, yeah, that's my bag I've been carrying. So, let's keep this rocking. I actually do want to say one thing that I've been doing is... Uh, I got a box of 100 of these. And if you've been to Austin, you know that Austin's struggling with a, a homeless problem right now or people who are uh, currently without a home. And uh, I never I never was one of those fans who like to give uh, money to homeless. I'd rather give food or, or supplies or resources. So what I've been doing is uh, carrying my book of reminders and I've been giving those out to anyone who's receptive to them. And it's been really nice. I hand it out to them, have a quick little conversation, tell them a little bit about the book. And then I'll uh, I'll kind of like pull forward in my car or whatever. And I'll watch them in my rear view mirror. And then I'll see them reading like really quickly, like the back of these or flipping through it. And you can see them kind of resonating with the concepts. And and then usually they'll, they'll give me a thumbs up. So it's been uh, something personally really rewarding for me to, uh, to have these uh, in my car that I can quickly hand out. Now, uh, you guys saw the thumbnails, so you saw the new uh, um, combs. These are the Hang 10 combs. These came out, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we're, we're, I think these are not going to stay in stock for really long. They've been our number one seller since we launched them. They're beautiful, acetate, they pop, they're multidimensional, you can kind of see through them. And um, we also have a bundle. Um, and the bundle is called the Hang 10. So this is the Hang 10 comb. And Joey, this is a, uh, Joey, this booklet that you're asking about is called the Book of Reminders. It's a freebie that we include in all orders up until about August, and then we're gonna be sold out of them. Uh, or if you're too late on that, you can buy them. Um, so head over to beardbrand.com, of course. Uh, the Hang 10. So uh, our pocket comb, we're currently out of stock. On Thursday, we're gonna be launching this bad boy. And I think this is going to uh, be like the other one and just kind of go out of stock. And I'll tell you the name that we have for this is <laughs> inspired by this photograph. So when we we're trying to come up with the name for the photograph for this cone, um, someone, it was Jordan, Jordan shared this photo and I don't know how she found this photo, but this photo is from, and I can never say the, the town, right? Acu, uh, 
Alcopoca. Alcopoca. Alcopoca 1965. So that's the name of this comb design is Alcopoca 1965 based on this photograph with just kind of like the teals, the energy, the movement, the clearness of the water in the backdrop. And uh, pretty stuck, pretty stuck for that. So uh, you guys see Sternbeard is in here. Of course, uh, what you need to do is uh, go ahead and grab one of these Sternbeard cases. To put your fresh comb in. And this is what it will look like when you get it in there. So stern beard man i uh, love the leather case i love uh you know like kind of building next accessories All right. ah. speaking of cases for those who just joined the tpt slide also comes with a <laughs> it also comes with a uh, carrying a case if that's what you want to do, you can slide that in there, pull it out, open bottles with it, wrench things up with it, eat from it. Yeah. All right. All right. So that is my everyday carry that I've been rocking. I think I covered it all. There's a lot in here. And I probably forgot something, but there you go. 2021, Eric Banholtz Everyday Cover. Now let's talk uh, talk a little bit about style. Talk a little bit about the hair. Um, so you guys, uh, if you watch, if you're subscribed to the Beard Brand channel, you guys know I got a haircut with Jesse. Wanted a little more uh, vintage vibe and kind of got it. It's definitely got mullet a little bit. If you uh, watched the live stream last month, the hair was a little bit longer here. So we got like a little bit cool uh vibe going on in terms of styling what i did is i did uh shampoo and conditioner today and uh followed it up with a little bit of styling balm and sea salt spray which is pretty much uh what i always do i'm a pretty pretty low-key guy uh of course blow dried it uh to get a little bit additional volume and uh man what uh what's today the 19th i think the next time i do this I think the next time I do this live stream, I'm going to be 40. Going to be 40. Uh, so I think there's a few of you guys out there who are uh, currently over 40 in your 40s and your 50s and your 30s. I'm sure there's guys out there in all your ages. And uh, 40, I've determined, is going to be my year for my midlife crisis. I've got some plans. Uh, I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm. I look pretty good. A lot of, a lot of people do say that I look younger than my age. Uh, some of the new guys on the rowing team. One guy said I look 31. I will take it. Um, so I, I've got that going for me. But a couple of things like in my age that I'm not quite happy about that I want to take care of this year is uh, these moles that I've gotten have just kind of gotten a little bigger. A little more distinguishable. I've got like maybe a couple in here. I just kind of want to go to a uh, what do they call it? plastic surgeon who focuses on moles and be able to take care of these moles, get them gone, maybe in a little more uh, pretty way. So hopefully I'll be a little more pretty. And then all uh, you know, Mega Jeans in here. He's been a long time subscriber. He kind of knows uh, in my crown. It's not terrible. All right, my crown is not terrible. It's not bad, but it's not where I want it to be. Like, I kind of want to get that calic back. I want a little more volume in my crown. So I'm thinking about going to a uh, um, hair transplant person uh, and maybe getting some of these on the side and the back re relocated to the crown. So I got a nice big fluffy crown and I don't look like a monk where there's a hole in my head up here uh, in a couple of years. Joey, uh, I want to go to a dermatologist because dermatologists are great at taking the moles off, but they're not great at uh, like sewing them up and making sure that you uh, you you heal well and, and don't have any scars. So if it's any kind of moles on my body, my back, you know, my legs, I go to the dermatologist. I have them just 
take them right off. But for something on my face, I kind of want to go to a plastic surgeon who's going to be a little more, um, a little more aware of the healing process. Um, so that's why I want to go to a plastic surgeon over a dermatologist. You can go to a dermatologist, but you're, you're, you run the risk of having um, maybe a little bit more scarage showing uh, with the moles removal. Um, and what other, uh, I think like those are the big uh, midlife crisis things that I have uh, going on. I don't know. I'm, I'm like battling this consumerism thing, you know, like wanting to buy a new car for my wife. Hopefully she's not watching. Uh, cause I've been talking about that a lot, but you know, the car gets her from point A to point B. It's 2011 Subaru Outback. It's a good car. Good car. Well, let's, uh, let's get the chats going. We got a lot of people on Facebook and YouTube. So if you see me replying to someone who's not in the channel, it's probably because they're watching on YouTube or on Facebook or maybe even Twitter, uh, which is pretty crazy to see uh, a couple of Twitter comments come in. What kind of questions do we guys have going on? What's going on on the other side of the internet? Um, what kind of things are going? Yes, I'm bringing this in. Check that out. Woo. Billy was the look I was going for with this, as you guys know. I need the tactile turn bolt action pen. For EDC, that sounds pretty, I mean, let's pull that up. Cause I don't even know, I don't even know what that is. So I want to see if tactile turn bolt action pen. Oh yeah. That's cool. So let's pull it up here. I will share the screen. So these are pretty dope. I uh, I don't have a pen, which is probably something that I need to add to my collection. And then, you know, the thing is, I like brass. I think brass is cool. I guess it's bronze, technically. But bronze is kind of like stinks. Like when I touch it, the oils start to stink uh, with the, the metal. So I don't know. Maybe copper. But copper kind of has has a, the same little feel to it. Um, this would be a good thing to have with uh, my Keep On Growing book or my moleskin. Just have something like this and a... I bet you like that, that feeling of um, clicking it out and clicking it in probably just uh, probably feels great. What size would you get? Would you get the, the small one or the long one? Titanium, copper, like standard, bronze. Yeah, I'd probably get like copper. I just feel like copper. That's nah, sold out. Like the patina, the green that it gets over time is really cool. And uh, let's see. All right. So do I have any EDC flashlight? Um, or should you have tons of cheap flashlights all around the house? Uh, or do you just use a phone light? Yeah, I think I think I am like more of the minimalist. Minim, minim, minimalist. So if I ever do need to use a flashlight, it's coming from here. Um, I do need to use it on a daily basis because uh, I wake up at 445, my wife's still sleeping. So I need like a little light to get around the house. I, I would probably say if I was to be a flashlight guy, uh, I would probably do it similar to how I do come. So there's like one in the car, there's one in the office, there's one you know at the desk, there's one all over the place. So I'd probably lean towards um, maybe not cheap ones, like quality ones, because I hate like, I just don't like touching cheap things. It's, I don't know, man. You only live once and then. 
So, but I'm, I, I've got no, uh, um, no flashlights other than some cheap ones, right? Cheap ones right now. Uh, any new oils coming out? Oh, this is one thing that I wanted to talk about that I forgot about. If you're an Alliance member, you know about this. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because what we're doing is we're creating a new brand. And the new brand is going to be targeting other people than beard branders. Uh, we're going to go after uh, maybe beard branders' wives and friends and family. So it's uh, it's a new brand we're working on. Uh, and I want it to kind of like stand independently. I want beard brand to serve one, one audience and then this new brand. But I'll sneak peek. If you're in the Alliance, you know about it. Another perk of being in the Alliance. Um, but this is going to be the packaging for the new product. It's a big old jar, 12 and a half ounces. Uh, premium jar, Le Parfait is a premium jar maker. And then uh, the goal is, I wanted to launch it in Feb in uh, July, but uh, supply chain issues and one of the ingredients we can't get until early August. So we're gonna be launching in August, knock on wood. If you're in the Alliance, uh, you can find out about it. But if you're not in the Alliance, you'll probably uh, never find out about it. Uh, when it comes to the white line, we have no plans for new fragrances. We do have some limited edition black line fragrances in the works, some cool collaborations, one coming out in August as well. So if you like limited editions, this will be a brand new fragrance. Uh, let me see if I can give you a hint and uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, this will be my hint for the name. Uh, come on. There you go. That is going to be the hint for the name for our limited edition coming out in August. I'm just, well, it, I pretty much gave it away, didn't I? Pretty much gave it away. Uh, if you're smart, that's not going to be hard <laughs> to figure out. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a funny comment. Come on. There you go. Nice hairdo. I dig the lesbian look. Well played, 7-4, But, you know, looking good, looking good. Oh, this is a good question we got here. Johnny Indian. Wife is constantly telling me to shave it off. Did your wife like your beard as it was growing out? Personally, I like the way I look with the beard. So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a challenging thing to have uh, your wife not support your facial hairstyle. So, um, you know, one of the things I always recommend saying is like, you know, we've been married or yeah. So wife, we've been married for this many years and uh, I'm going to be with you for the next 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. And all I'm asking is, uh, for you to support me on my journey for the next 12 months as I try to grow a year. I know it's going to be challenging. I know I'm going to doubt myself. I know that I'm probably even going to want to shave it off at some time. But uh, I know we're a team and I know that you're going to be here for me. And I really appreciate your support as I go on this. And then after a year, uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, take the next step. And I found that that kind of strategy helps with uh, getting the support from any kind of significant other on your journey. And, you know, like ultimately, I, I find that partners end up grow into kind of accept your facial hairstyle. And, and then if you do shave it off, they, they kind of regret when you shave it off and, and wish you had it. So um, good luck with your journey. It's not always, it's not always easy. Martin, I'm, uh, I'm drinking uh, Korean Ichiban. Only drink this if you're 21. Do not endorse underage drinking. YouTube, it is, uh, it should be fine. I've had beers on live streams before. Someone was giving me flack for uh, drinking on a live stream. But pop up in a beer if you drink beers. If you don't drink beers, that's cool as well. 
Uh, I don't drink beers very often. Um, Blue Sky, Australia. I uh, I just gave a talk to a bunch of Austrians and uh, who came to America to kind of learn how to do a startup. So, and one of my good friends, uh, Tobias Van Schneider, is Austria, also an Austrian. So I want to go to Vienna and check out the country. And I'll I'll give you a little tidbit. My family immigrated into America in the early 1900s. Uh, they're originally from the the southern part of Poland, which was part of the Austria Hungary. Um, what's it called? Empire, Austro Hungarian Empire. So, technically speaking, uh, I'm a little bit Australian, not Australian, Austrian. Uh, so now you know. Burger King scent, good idea. See a stern beard. Um, Hell yeah, buy some beer brand products. If you can, those Europeans, if, if you're in Europe, it's a little bit challenging, I know, but uh, you can use something like myus.com to get around kind of like the importing and exporting if uh, you wanna do that. It's a little pricey though, it's a little pricey. So uh, we're working on things uh, to get better distribution, but they're pretty far away, pretty far away. Um, <laughs> there he is. This guy right here, Jeremy McGee, is my business partner. He's a big part of uh, the reason we're successful at Beard Brand. So uh, if you ever run into him in the Spokane area, be sure to uh, tell him hello and tell him thank you for all he's done. If you go way back into the Beard Brand archives, you will notice that uh, he... Um, had done some videos as well. So there's a couple of videos with Jeremy out there. Martin is confirming that uh, the, the beard has grown on his wife as much as it's grown on him. I think that's a pretty true thing. I think that's a pretty true thing. So I am headed to uh, Oak Ridge, Tennessee in mid-August to row at Masters Nationals. That's the big race. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, pull back a couple of medals and uh, win some races. Uh, I think we're, I'm entered in about six different races and some eights and fours. And that'll be, I think, pretty much my first and last race of the season. So pretty stoked for it. It's gonna be fun. Been training hard, waking up every day, 4.45 and uh, getting out in the morning. Yeah, come on down. Come support the team, Austin Rowing Club. Come watch us, Oak Ridge, right outside of Knoxville. Uh, it's a great place. We'll see you, Sean. Good to see you in here. Um, but I don't have much else. So if there's any good questions that you guys have, keep them coming. Uh, I'm going to scroll back up to see if there's anything that I missed. Um, this is a good point, Joey. Comments, exercise makes you look younger. Yeah, if you're in fit, if your body's in shape, uh, you feel energetic, you kind of act like uh, a younger person. Uh, I'm actually in the process of growing my beard back. Uh, how big am I going to grow it? I don't know. I think uh, I'll probably get to my typical like three month length. So um, kind of similar to what Carlos is rocking. If uh, you guys have seen Carlos recently, at all. So the beard is uh, it's coming back. The beard stash has had a good time in the sun. And then also I think like I want to come up with a uh, I think I want to come up with a, a new hairstyle. So I don't know what the new hairstyle is going to be. Um, but I've had the mullet for a while. Um, I don't know. Maybe completely shaving my head. Maybe going back to like a smaller a smaller one, um, we'll see. Uh, what's the best advice to grow out my beard? Uh, the best advice is wait. Um, the second best advice is probably take a photo every day. I think a lot of people kind of think it's not growing quick enough or it's not coming in. 
And if you take daily photographs, you can kind of do a time lapse and see the progression of your beard. Uh, the third advice I would say is don't compare your beards to other, kind of compare it to the past. And then uh, fourth one is like style your beard to your own beard's uh, best attributes. So if you have like a patchy beard where it's not coming in after growing for about 30 or 60 days and it's still looking a little sparse and you're not happy with it, then uh, shorter is generally going to be better. But you can still rock stubble. It's okay to rock stubble with a patchy beard. It's really common. And then focus on the sections that grow well. So you'll notice that my mustache comes in really well, so I tend to have a mustache. My cheeks are a little finer, so I tend to keep those uh, a little bit shorter if uh, I really want to go for like best appearance. But sometimes you just buck and it's like I grow a beard because I want to grow a beard. It doesn't really matter what I look like. So everyone grows for their own reasons. And I encourage you to find the reason why you're growing. Uh, so that's my best beard advice. Yeah, so uh, Charlie called it out. We're uh, pretty engaged with our, our our Alliance members getting feedback. You know, sometimes we can move pretty quickly. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but we do, we, we ultimately want to make products that you guys love. Uh, obviously, we want to make products that we love too, but, um, you know, we may be off the mark a little bit some, from time to time. So uh, always being involved in the Alliance. It's a private community for people who have bought from us from three times or spent $150. Or if you just want to buy one time for ninety dollars, you can do that. Um, I don't know why you do that when you could just spend a little bit more uh, on products, or even buy three orders for thirty bucks. You need to have three orders. Anyways, um, there's a lot of ways to game the system. We want you in there, but we just don't want the trolls in there. So that's why we have a, a couple of barriers up in there. Um, so. Um, depending on your, the comb you use, uh, the comb can cause more damage than the other. So Salus acetate comb, a metal comb, a uh, wooden comb, they're typically, they start off as a blank and then they, they saw cut them and then they polish them into shape. That process is going to be a process that causes less damage to your hair. But anytime you like physically touch a beard, there's always running the risk of, of physical damage. Now, your beard can handle a lot, so I wouldn't really worry too much about it. But the cheaper combs that are made through extruded um, plastic, they come into this mold and they shoot the, the resin into the mold and then it opens up the mold and the, the comb drops out. And what happens there is you get these like fine little ridges and these little ridges along the middle and on the inside of the teeth um, will be more likely to cause damage to the hair, causing split ends, breakage, things like that. So there is a difference between a high quality comb and a cheaper comb, um, depending on, uh, well, there's a difference. So uh, the answer is, you know, kind of yes and no. Um, but every time I comb my hair or beard, hair is coming out. That's to be expected. You've got. 30,000 follicles on your face, 100,000 on your, your head, your hair cycle, it's normal. Uh, I think on a beard, you kind of expect to lose like, geez, like 30 to 100 hairs a day, something like that. Uh, most of them you just generally don't see because they're short. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, or maybe like the rat tail. Maybe I could just keep, keep it long in the back and do a completely long, shaved head with like a little bit of rat tail or do you want me to do like the homer simpson uh that could be something uh what are your thoughts on braided long hair for a professional legal field man with a beard you know i think like that viking look is kind of cool um like if it's more of a french braid <clears throat> it's not a style that i've ever rocked um, but I think like if you have the right accessories, the right kind of build and, uh, the right kind of style, you can pull it off. Uh, and even like the right haircut, I think like, like a shaved side kind of gives it like a lot more aggressive look to it. Will it work in the professional legal field? You know, I don't know. That might be a little, a little challenging, but you know, try it. The thing with like a braid is it's not permanent. So if you get a lot of flack for it or people don't like it, you just unbraid your hair. Uh, not that big of a deal. 
Um, yeah, so I don't know your age. If you're young, uh, your hairs come in, they're real light and blonde and they don't grow that long. Those are called vellus hairs. And as you get older, uh, those hairs usually will convert to what's called a terminal hair. And when they convert to a terminal hair, they will get darker. And uh, uh, it's just part of the, the process of getting older and cycling. Sometimes it happens in your early 20s, sometimes in your 30s, and sometimes it never happens. So answer is probably, probably get darker if you're a young guy. But if you're an older person, probably not. I think uh, your late 30s, uh, early 40s are kind of um, at that point where you really know what your, your beard is. Uh, there's a lot of changes between your early 20s and your late 20s. Uh, but as you get up into your late 20s and early 30s, you, you generally know what it is. But it's something that always gets better with age. So probably like, you know, like Greg's got his best beard he's ever had and he's turning 60 this year. So... Uh, it's just one of those things that's uh, like wine, you know, it gets better with age. Hell yeah. You know, like I've said this a few times and the one of the big things we're trying to do at Beard Brand is like help help guys love the person who's looking back at them in the mirror. And for our customers and our audience, that's usually the grooming routine, you know. For a lot of other guys, it could be fitness, it could be hobbies, it could be word working, it could be you know work, it could be exercise. Um, but but we're driven to help men love themselves through grooming, and I, I do think like grooming is a, a great process and a great thing that really does help elevate your confidence and and help you be able to be a pillar for your family and be a pillar for your community and for your career for the people around you. Um, so it's just awesome to, to see, um, you guys like responding to that and, and kind of live in that vibe and, and investing in yourself and, and, uh, you know, like working on, uh, you know, being awesome, being more awesome. That's, uh, absolutely true for those who just joined our, uh, app, app, God, I'm going to get it wrong again. Is it app, poo, coke? Uh, app I think it's app col polka or something like that. 65. Jeez. Butchering it. What a rock and man bun. Since my since my haircut, I can't do that anymore because it's real short. It doesn't go back. So I gotta rock this vintage look. What do we got? So I deal with this a little bit too. Like I kind of have a plucking issue. Like if I find a hair that's a little too long, I'll pluck at it. Uh, Trichotilla mania, I think is like the, the term that they use to, to describe it. Or if I find a split in or something, I'll just kind of do it. One thing that I recommend is you grab a comb and instead of using your hand, you're using a comb. And this is kind of like a good way to still like have that, that comforting motion but you're going to do less damage than if you were to use your hand. The other thing is to occupy your hand. So, you know, try to get a fidget spinner or something like that that you can play with uh, to get your hands. I, uh, I take creatine as a way to recover faster. And then uh, I've been battling a little bit of a head cold. So I've been taking some vitamin D and some vitamin C for that. But that's more of a... Uh, um, short-term thing. And then, uh, I, I really don't get too much into, uh, supplements. You guys know I've recommended biotin if you want to grow your hair and nails a little bit quicker, hair and beard a little bit quicker. Um, but besides that, my goal, and I wish I was better at it, is to eat a really healthy diet, you know, like just vegetables, fruits, meats, um, whole grains, uh, less or minimal amounts of packaged and <laughs> processed foods and minimal amounts of alcohol. So uh, if you can do that, and then uh, supplements are, are less impactful. So 
Uh, Greg is very much a unicorn. In fact, I was on his daughter's uh, TikTok and I learned that he made his daughter's prom dress. He like, he literally sewed it together and created it out of nothing. Like he bought the material and sewed it together. Like the dude is like, what do they call him? Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, or Michelangelo. He's just like a man of many talents. I had a, uh, here you go. Acapulco. 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 I, I've got for those who don't know, I've got a little bit of dyslexia, which makes saying certain words like just incredibly challenging. Yeah, Manny. I would blow dry my beard all the time. I think it's a great way. Just the key is uh, keep the heat moving as much as possible. Try not to have uh, the heat on your beard. Uh, for an extended period of time to minimize any kind of effect of damage. Uh, there's been scientific studies that show that hair drying or using a hair dryer is actually more healthy for your hair if you're using it properly than if you just let it air dry. So um, using a hair dryer properly uh, is great for the long run. Dude, hell yeah. Look at this. You watch Beard Brand video, you learn a couple things, you find out. We're not all a bunch of bullshit, and uh, you got a great beard. So uh, that's awesome to hear, man. I love reading this stuff. And uh, yeah, Joey, man. So Joey, mine's similar because I'm a tall guy. I'm six foot five, and like for a period of my life, I was worried that I had boogers in my nose and people could just see up my nose. So I would just constantly, constantly go like that to try to make sure I didn't have any bats in the cave, but, uh, um, so am I, my goal is my, my, I, I don't really have like a destination with my weight goal. So, uh, I wanted to be stronger for the rowing season and I got stronger, which is nice. Um, uh, I didn't progress as quickly. Probably if I was, if I wasn't rowing, I stopped weightlifting and mid, uh, really just a couple of weeks ago. Cause I really want to focus on rowing. And uh, I'm rowing now six times a week and just doing that until our regatta in August. And then after the regatta is over, I'm going to pick weightlifting back up. But uh, I think I've even like, uh, I've lost a couple of pounds. I've lost a little bit of muscle, getting a little bit softer. It's one of those things like you, you stop weightlifting and like your gains, like they just, just I feel like they're, they, it's going to be like, uh, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a ladder kind of thing. <laughs> uh, we got some dads in here. I use an air dryer. Well done. Uh, you know, the funny thing about doing a meet and greet is I've done a couple of them in the past. And uh, you guys can see here, we got about 50 people in here. Uh, so I'm not, uh, it's not as easy to draw a crowd. So. Uh, maybe sometimes I'll just tell people I'm hanging out at a bar. You're more than welcome to come if you want to come. But typically the meet and greets we do, we end up not getting anyone to, to come out. So uh, be happy to do it or reach out if I am in Austria uh, to hang out or to get a tour or whatever or to meet you over coffee. But uh, the meet and greets, uh, usually it's pretty tough to, to line those up. So. Oh, no way. I had no idea, Martin. That's pretty cool. All right, we're coming up on an hour. For those who are just joining us, a reminder, uh, you, can, you can see it down there. Grab the utility bundle. We got a great deal with these uh, TPT slides. Uh, they're super dope. Disregard the, the condensation that I got on there. It's a very cool utility product. There's so many different ways you can use this. We only got a, a few of these left. We're going to be out of them soon. You can use it uh, to open up bottles. You can use it as a flathead screwdriver. It's got a hex thing in here. You can put a hex for screwdrivers. You can uh, use it as a wrench. You can slide this open, use it as a box opener. You can use it as a comb. The screws, uh, the two screws on the bottom, those are two inches apart, so you can use it as a measuring device. And the two screw, 
the two screws up here are one inch apart. So you can know that's one inch apart. And it's just like a generally minimal, small thing. A lot of functions. It's made out of titanium. Oh, I forgot to say that the first time. So it's like super durable, super hard. Great tool. Go to beardbrand.com. Look on the navigation for the utility bundle. Pick it up while we got them. And then once they're gone, they're gone. Same with all the bundles that we're doing this month. So we have a hot summer night making you smell good in the summer. That's going to be gone pretty soon as well. We're getting low on those inventories. And then uh, Jacketed Cat asks, why I ever do a live stream again? I do them every month, every month, once a month. So they're not too frequent. But uh, I, uh, if you look in the history, you can see my previous live streams. You just got to make sure you click on the tab, like live streams, uh, to see them. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, next month to do them as well and uh, kind of keep them going. So if there's anything that you want me to talk about, you know, just throw them in the comments and I can add it to the inventory. But I usually just kind of ramble on with you guys and answer some questions and talk about what's going on at Beard Brand, talk about what's going on in my life. Maybe I'll have a different hairstyle. Maybe I'll have some medals for my row in. And uh, yeah, mm, that's it. <sighs> bearded brute. You, my friend, are a beautiful bearded human. And all is well, all is well. All right, guys. This has been another Beard Brand Alliance live stream. I uh, appreciate all your uh, support. I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, it's fun to read. I love uh, interacting with you guys. I love chatting with you guys on the live stream as well, or uh, on the Alliance forum. And uh, we'll see you next month. See you next month. And uh, keep on growing, you know? I'm growing.